Today, we're looking at Loop Cloud 5 from Loop Masters. And what I'm going to focus on is how you can get the most out of it without spending any money. So here's the Loop Cloud interface. This is a standalone app, but it does integrate with your DAW using a plugin. So I'm just going to load in that plugin in Reaper. Loop Cloud. And there are some other plugins, like Loop Cloud Drum and Play, but we're going to cover those in another video. If you're interested, let me know in the comments. So this little plugin lets you monitor the output of the Loop Cloud uh, app through your DAW, so you can add any other effects, so you can listen to it in context. It also sends the BPM to the app so that anytime you're auditioning a loop, it plays back in time and in tempo with your project. And once you have this added to a track, you can just close the window because you don't need to see it. So check the link in the description if you want to try this out. They're not sponsoring this video. They're not telling me to make this a review, uh, but I am an affiliate partner. So if you click through the link, download or buy anything, then uh, I get a little commission from that. So here's the Loop Cloud interface. Uh, this main page has a list of all of their sample libraries, and they have a ton of them. And then towards the bottom of this, of this is kind of the sampler that's built in, the, the loop preview player. Uh, there's actually eight tracks in here. There are effects in here. A lot of this stuff is actually locked to the pro version, which is a paid subscription monthly, but there's so much you can do with the free version. Let's start off with going to my library, which is, uh, there's a little your library button there, and you can see um, the included library is this Loop Cloud Welcome Pack. And in here, there's actually quite a lot of samples. Click on samples, ambient chill out. Um, by the way, the arrow keys will pop out each of your um, folders, very similar to Finder. And now we can hear this playing through Reaper. And so these are actually previewing from their website. It's not downloading anything until you hit the download button. Well, I mean, it is downloading something, but it's it's downloading just a, a sort of a lower quality, quick previewing version of it. And it's syncing to my project. So this loop is actually 140 BPM, but my project is 120. So we're hearing it stretched out uh, slower so that it's um, matching the tempo. We can also choose a different uh, key for this. So um, the original is F, let's change it to D. Let's change it to G. So let's say we like that. We can grab it from here, and these ones here, this, this sample library here, is a free included one. Grab it and drop it in. It'll tell you to keep the mouse button depressed. While that's there, that means it's downloading from the server the full quality file. We're going to drop that into an, a new track in Reaper. And so we can set our loop points and turn on looping and play this back. This track is now playing out of Reaper, and we can find something different. So we got a bass loop. Let's put in something different, like a, uh, a drum loop. And you can see some of the different icons. These are ones that I've used before. So this one, I've downloaded it as well. I kind of like that. Okay, so another thing we can do here is uh, click on the download HQ file. And then we can drag that in to Reaper. And so that's time stretched it, uh, put it into a new track, and we can uh, hear it just as we would as if we just recorded it. 
just gonna balance that out using my control service. All right, so that's drum loops. Let's get a percussion loop in here. I kind of like that. I'm going to bring that one in. So you can see it's a really quick workflow of finding things, dragging them in, and auditioning everything um, really easily. So that's just one of the included loop packs um, that this comes with. So that's the ambient and chill out. Um, but there's also drum and bass, hip hop and trap, house and techno, urban and effects. And then each one of these has one shot libraries and loop libraries built in. So there's arpeggios, synths, all kinds of stuff. Outside of their stuff, you could also import your own sample libraries. So I've got record crackles here um, from my own library. Sure, so let's drag that in and put that in with the beat. Cool. So I showed you the, the sample library store here. Inside of here, there's actually a ton of stuff that you can get for free. Um, the free account gets you five free downloads every single day. Doesn't take long to build up a library of, of your favorite stuff. So you can just type in free here and there's a tag for everything that's free. So um, here, check this one out. So this one I added to my library earlier today, and we can drag that one in. I don't know if it'll really work with this, but let's see. I think the only thing that doesn't really work is the bass. Let's get rid of that one. That's pretty cool. And we can narrow down our search really easily to like percussion. So here's mixed percussion in free. Let's see what we get. There are six results. Let's play that all together. And change the preview volume here. We can go to FX edit. Click on plus, add in a delay. And you see there, if I try to touch this, this is one of the locked um, pro version uh, things. If you want to use the effects or edit the effects, then you have to be a subscriber. To do more than eight tracks here, you do need to subscribe as well. Um, but without the subscription, you can do two tracks and they'll play at the same time. You can change the volume. You can buy them both, really easy. Um, there's also these patterns, so you can chop things up, um, different patterns you can do with uh, the one shots. So if I change my results to one shots, let's see. Change this free and let's do a snare see what we get and we'll just change this to uh, snares and claps uh, clap verb sure We can hit this button here, download all, and drop in. Drag in the processed version. And so I've got that cut up pattern here um, imported, or I can grab the original one and it's just gonna do that one shot. So lots of flexibility just right there. So let's look at the website. There are different plans that you can use. 
$8 a month, you get 100 points, which you can use to buying the premium sounds. Most sounds cost um, one or two points. With this, you get the effects. You get eight tracks built in, which means that you could basically make a song even without the DAW, which is pretty cool. Uh, you get five gigs of online storage, so you can back up your favorite samples to the Loop Cloud library and then access it on any computer you have Loop Cloud. Um, you get 10 free sounds a day. You get a larger library to begin with. You get the plugin suite. So I think. That's a great value, and you get even more stuff, like more online storage, uh, more free sounds per day uh, if you pay a little bit more. Before we go, I'll show you a couple projects that I started with Loop Cloud earlier this week. I basically started with a pattern like this. Show you one other one. And with this one, I let my son choose the sounds. So uh, here's what we got with this one. Loop Cloud also has two other plugins, which um, I'm really happy to show you in another video. I think this video has gone on long enough. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope you found Loop Cloud interesting and useful. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Join our Facebook group, Reaper Blog Community. Support the Reaper Blog through Patreon. And visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials. Mm -hmm.